Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial and explanation about 32-bit Python versus 64-bit Python. Some of the hurdles that you'll have to deal with, whether whichever one you use. Uh, if you're on a 32-bit operating system, none of this really matters <laughs> to you right now because you're not going to be able to use 64-bit anyways. But you might still want to stick around and learn a few things just in case you ever do get a 64-bit system in the future. So let's talk about some real basics real quick. What are the, what are the differences between 32 and 64-bit when it comes to Python? Basically, the major difference here, uh, at least performance-wise, is going to be your memory allowance. With a 32-bit program, the maximum amount of RAM that can be allocated is 2 gigabytes per program. So depending on what kind of work you use Python for, this might not ever be an issue for you. If you ever embark on like big data kind of stuff, then this 2 gigabyte limit is, is pretty much going to stop you from being able to do that. So there's that. Functionally, there's some back-end differences between 32 uh, bit and 64 bit as well and this will basically stop you from being able to intermix these two things okay sounds you know easy enough right I'll just um, get the 64 bit operating system and the 64 bit Python will be good to go right well not quite many of the Python modules are actually 60 or I mean 32 bit only and even some of these like most popular ones. So for a great example of this is if you are into you know, doing big data manipulation or huge like mathematic problems, then you're gonna quickly find out that NumPy is one of those modules that's 32-bit only. Well, we just can't win, can we? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you can. There are actually a few options. You can custom edit registry keys and the install paths, which I really don't suggest you start doing unless you're very comfortable with it. And either way, you better make some backups for you anything with those uh, registry values. Also, this isn't going to really solve everything every time. You might still be able to install the file, but then it won't actually operate as expected sometimes. Next, you could rebuild or recompile the uh, import or module if you have the source files. Or you can go the easiest route, and that's to be to go to this website, lfd.uci.edu, and some Python lib stuff. I'll put a link in the description for anyone who needs it, but this website has basically all the 64-bit imports and modules you could ever want. I love this stuff. So on here, these are, well, this is like the list of everything they have, but as you can see, they've got everything, uh, all your installers for 64-bit. They also have some 32-bit. I'm not... I don't know, every time I visited this page, it was because I needed a 64-bit installer. But um, anyway, they've got all of these imports here. So basically for um, like some of the stuff I just did, like this base map projection, stuff like that, um, if people had the regular vanilla installation of like matplotlib, they probably had a 32-bit PIL installation, and you needed to get the 64-bit PIL. Anyway kind of a mess. Same thing with if you try to do NumPy in a 32-bit, uh, or I mean a NumPy with a 64-bit Python, not going to work. So you can get NumPy from here. Anyway, there's this huge list. I'll put the link in the description. So if you guys need the 64-bit versions of various Python imports and modules, don't give up your 64-bit Python and your, you know, forfeit and go down to a 2 gigabyte limit. Boo, that sucks. Um, you can use this website, and um, I'm not sure this guy's like a donate button or what. I don't see any donate button on here, but if you own this website, you should put a donate button on here. I would donate to you. Anyway, um, that's going to be all for this tutorial. Just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, have a nice day.